Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more Ember Knights. Last time we made it pretty damn far with a bow, so I want to check out what the wands, kind of how it plays. So let's go ahead and equip that real quickly. That's cool. We may actually try out the wand this time. So let me go ahead and check its details real quickly. So three does chain attack, hold X to damage all enemies in a cone. Fully charged attack deals bonus damage to all enemies in range. Bonus damage for you fully charged attack increases for each skill refreshed during the charge. Utilize your skills for maximum damage. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a shot and we'll get this uh a go ahead. So let's go ahead and head through to the tear and enter the forest. So wish me luck. It's been uh, a couple days since I've played. <laughs> Might be a little bit rusty this round. Okay, let's go ahead and enter the first stage. Not too much damage. The range is okay with this weapon. But the perfect skill is pretty awesome. So the charge attack cone. So it hits a, a lot of things. I don't know. I think I might like the bow better. We'll have to see. The problem with using a charge attack is later on. The enemies attack so freaking fast that I don't really have time to stand still. Take out the projectile enemies first. Luckily, um, since we're ranged, we kind of have time to actually dodge the projectile enemies. Usually the projectile enemies get us pretty brutally when we're so close. We gotta scale summon a wisp from the void to aid you in battle. Perfect bonus HP. Become invisible. Oh, uh, this is some of the wisp. Oh, we got a, a skill already. I wasn't paying attention, so let's see what the skill does. So it shoots out a uh, kind of a ball of some sorts. So we'll go ahead and try that ability. So we got to destroy the crystals here. To get access to damaging that guy, but he won't move. Took some damage already. Not sure from what. Let's go ahead and summon the Wisp. How's the Wisp attack? It's not really doing anything. Ah, oh, there we go. So cast Chain Lightning also. And it looks like the ball does a decent amount of damage. Let's use uh, Relic Selector. Okay, your healing is increased. Bonus heal one seems pretty weak. Your skills can now crit the same chances as your weapon. Whenever you crit, you conjure a Lightning Bolt. So my crit is 2% chance. Your skill's not crit with the same chance of weapon. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the lightning. The Volt Claw. So we got Gem of Vigor and Agility. Uh, max HP increased by 5. Don't mind if I do. Uh, what's that mushroom do? Is that the... Okay, I can't remember which items in this stage does what. Go ahead and toss something. Summon another Wisp. Let's see how long this Wisp lasts for too seems to be lasting for quite a, some time now. I think the bow does more damage. I'll have to compare stats. Okay. Not too bad thus far. So the golden flowers don't do anything. Okay, let's go to the next room. So we got projectile on these again. The perfect skill for this is actually not too bad. I got hit again. Not sure from what. I can always just cancel it mid-strike too if I need to. It might be beneficial on bosses when they kind of stand still. So we got some gold here. And looks like we got an empty room right here. Let's see what it takes us. So nada. So probably just some gold. Pretty weak lightning strike. Ah, oh, we're getting hit because... Okay, we're getting hit uh, pretty hardcore right now. Like I said, I think I like the bow better. Yep, just more gold. We don't have too much gold right now. Let's go ahead and cast Wisp again. Wisp might be good on bosses. We shall see. Either these things are really beefy, or we're just not doing a lot of damage. Ow. Not doing too hot this round. 
And this is with a damage buff, too, against normal enemies. So bosses are just going to take forever. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the embers. Watch out for the projectiles. This should be an easy room. Let's go ahead and summon a wisp. Luckily, the enemies kind of get hit. Uh, they kind of stun themselves when we cast our lightning strike. So yeah, we've got another crystal section. Let's go ahead and summon a fire wisp now. It looks like they change elements. Ooh. I am in a bad position right now. That lightning strike was really badass right there. I got one HP. Things just aren't dying quick enough right now. So we'll get this another shot. Uh, this time we're gonna go with the bow. But we got 90 embers. So this run wasn't a complete waste. So we'll do 10 bonus damage above 75% HP. Okay. And the last one is 5% bonus damage when, after defeating a boss. So we might go for that eventually, but we're going to go ahead and just do this for right now. Uh, our speed upgrade. And our bonus damage is just going to increase drastically. Let's see the damage difference here. Show details. This does 11 damage. This does 9 damage. But why does the bow feel stronger than the staff? It's definitely faster. So we're gonna go ahead and equip the bow again. And we're gonna give this another shot. Where's the tear at? Okay, let's go ahead and head in. Maybe my reflexes are a little slow today, especially after having been playing for a couple days. But let's go ahead and try this again. Ooh, tons of enemies are starting off. Yeah, bow is so much faster. Go ahead and charge shot that. And it feels like it does more damage, but it's probably just because I'm attacking faster. No, it's definitely critting a lot more, too. Let's go ahead and take those out. Watch out for this enemy right here. So far, the bow is probably my favorite weapon. Okay, let's see what skill we got. Surround yourself with the aura snowballs that damage and freeze enemies upon touch. Damage and burn nearby enemies with a cone of mystical flame. Let's go ahead and do the shield. The armor. And we're going to test out how long this lasts for. So we'll cast the shield. So I wonder if it prevents damage at all. We're a little far from that enemy. Out. So it doesn't prevent damage. Okay, let's use the relic selector this time. Hopefully get something good. Whenever you hit an enemy with a skill, it poisons them. Whenever you send an enemy, deal AoE damage around it. You deal bonus damage against stunned enemies. Let's go ahead and do the poison. Okay. Uh, agility or wisdom? Let's go do wisdom. We're going to do some skill damage. So just keep dodging and attacking. Okay. So far, I'm liking the bow so much better. I know I've said that before, but I'm noticing a huge difference. 20% skill damage, very nice. Let's take out that enemy first. And it seems like this bow has a better range too. What do we got here? Uh, one damage increase. That should help a lot. Let's go ahead and it looks like the, sh the armor for our orbs is kind of, if you just get close to an enemy, it kind of just freezes them. And it doesn't seem to last forever either, so it has a short window. So I wonder what an upgrade uh, ability would be like too. Let's go ahead and dodge that. Ow, got hit by the Beyblade. I swear I was aiming at him. So, I guess the whole goal and idea is to get as beefy as we can until we 
can kind of breeze through a lot of these stages. So as long as we keep getting embers, we should be fine. It's not a wasted run. Okay, so we got 150 embers, very nice. Ooh, that gold scared me. I thought it was a projectile. I see a pot over there. Gotta watch out for the bay blades. Looks like uh, we crit one of them. Kind of instant killed them. Instant popped them. And now we got the mini boss finally. And we're full health, so we should be doing bonus damage to him too. Okay. Guzzle wound. Which one is this one? So that's his melee. So that's his charge. His bonus damage is so nice. So we got some tornadoes. Let's grab some health. It's pretty much melting right now. Watch out for the tornadoes. One more hit should do it. I just gotta get in range. There we go. Excellent. Tons of gold. And we're still full HP. Very nice. We should get into our shop soon. There it is. Okay, so we have 134 gold. Roll dice, dealing damage to enemies and generating a bonus effect based on dice roll, not of gold. Uh, we can't afford any of this stuff, so let's just kind of ignore it. Gain 15 armor when you... Okay. We're going to grab the armor, though. That's going to be some good survivability. Let's go ahead and head to the next section. So far, we're better, further than where we are with the wand. Okay, so we got uh, agility and precision. Let's go ahead and get the crit chance. Let's get the ice shield out. We got some crystals. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, the ice shield. It was good to test out, but I don't think it's going to last us that long. Ow, got hit. Glad we have some armor. So this armor is going to be extremely beneficial. And I think that's increased damage. Bring this back to Esper so we discovered something. Crit chance 4% and damage 1%. Don't mind if I do. So by the end, we gotta be doing tons of damage by the time we get towards the end of the game. Oh! Got nailed by that. Luckily, we got the armor, though. Got some free health right there, too. Let's go and get the skill selector. Heave a ground surround, uh... Heave the ground surrounding you to stun and damage enemies. Okay, summon an ethereal ballista to decimate approaching enemies. So let's do the ballista. I'm a huge fan of summons. So healing fountain were full HP. And this is a gem of vigor, so the max HP will be very nice. Luckily, the projectiles on this is so slow, we can... Uh, kind of avoid those uh, projectiles fairly easy. Okay, it's really going its own direction there. Let's grab the max HP. And we got a relic selector. Oh, very nice. I'm a huge fan of the relics. So we got a spawner over here. And a projectile enemy just below us. Let's go ahead and dodge that. Ow! I didn't expect it to shoot twice. Okay, let's see what relic we can get. Your first skill on hit deals bonus damage. 75% bonus damage is pretty nice. Whenever you refresh your skill, deal damage around you. Whenever you poison an enemy, enemy, it adds bonus attack. Okay, so this is a tough selection right here. So our... Uh, that only hits once on bosses. Okay, it won't be as good. Whenever you refresh a skill damage around you. We'll grab this right here. Not sure if I chose right, but... Uh, all the options weren't really obvious on what to pick. Okay, we got the first boss coming up now. This felt pretty short, to be honest. This stage so far. Let's go heal 10. Let's go ahead and enter the boss's room. 
Okay. Let's cast the shield and the ballista. Get kind of close to it. Okay, so it looks like our frost hit it pretty nicely. Ow! I got hit by the uh, a basic enemy. He's melting super fast. Let's get the frost out. Should take out the weak enemies. And we'll get a ballista out too. Ow, got nailed by that. We're still above 75% HP, so we're still fine. Not sure if I am now. Not definitely not, not now. So we lost our bonus damage. I'm gonna get the ballista out. There we go. And we got one more wave of attacks. There we go. And another wave. Watch out for the projectiles. Uh, enemies getting frozen. Another wave. Got it. That was actually a fairly close fight. Took some stupid damage there. A little rusty right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab all that. Crit chance gun up. Okay, crit chance is going to be pretty good too. So... Um, did we beat? Yes, we got the boss rush done. So we got even more embers and we got a stat selector. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, Jumba Vigor, get a little bit more HP. And that looks to be it. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next world. The main military barracks of the prime world at the Steadfast Citadel armies learning to fight. Okay, so we're at the Ice World now. I believe there are five worlds, but not 100% sure. The furthest we've made it is World 3 thus far. Watch out for the projectiles. Luckily, they take a while to actually shoot after they wind up. Ooh, we can miss them. They can dodge, too. Okay, we got the Relic Selector. Uh, gain 15 armor when you defeat an enemy. Uh, your skills now refresh quicker. Uh, whenever your skill refreshes, deal damage around you. Let's go ahead and grab the more armor. I like the survivability, so we got armor level 2 now. Let's go ahead and get some gold. Pop this, get more gold. And... We got more. Let's go ahead and wind up. We got the slashing enemies this time. Wind up. The wind up is pretty nice. The perfect shot. Luckily, each room doesn't have too many enemies, so they go by pretty quick. Um, I'm not a big fan of agility. I don't really need the move speed, so we're going to just grab a bigger. Go ahead and destroy the crystals. We got the wizards out now. The wizards are extremely dangerous. That completely whiffed us. Oh, that didn't whiff us, though. Uh, skill damage. We'll do the ice shield. I gotta cast that a little bit more often. And we'll grab the 10 HP. We'll grab as much survivability as we can. But we'll see what the other kind of jump selections does for us. So we got some more wizards and some spikes. Barely dodged that. Uh, yeah, these wizards have quite a bit of HP. And, oh, took some damage off the spikes. Let's do a ballista. I wish I had better abilities, to be honest. Rolled right into that. Does quite a bit of damage. To go through my armor like that. Uh, we got a Mimic King. What's a Mimic King? I've never seen this room before. Let's go ahead and grab all the gold we can first. Okay. Cross fingers. What is this? What do we have here, Sniff Sniff? Something good? Something tasty? Mmm, you must be a snack. Yes, hello little snack. Uh, what? What's that? Aren't you food? You can't think we can't eat you? You some kind of tough guy, huh? Come play with us, little snack. Maybe you'll get something. Maybe we'll eat you. 
Okay. Crap, I lost it on the very last... At the very last turn. I had it up until then. Hopefully he dropped something. Nope. Uh, there's some gold in the room though, so not too worrisome. Uh, can't do anything else in this room. <laughs> we could shoot the music box, that's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and... Take out these enemies, we got a strong wizard right here. And... Oh, got tons of wizards. Let's go ahead and drop the ballista. Luckily, the ballista does some decent damage. It's kind of just kind of fire and forget. And it takes some uh, hits from the enemies too, so it distracts them. Let's see what we have here. Skill selector or stat selector. I'm happy with my skills, so we're going to go ahead and do... Wait, is skill... Yeah, skills, okay. We're happy with their skills, so let's go do stat selector. Oh no, I want skills. Um, actually, I can't remember what skills and ability. Which is which. Oh well. We've already chosen. Stat selector. Damage, crit, or skill. Uh, let's go for raw damage. Okay. Uh, golden embers. We're going to choose embers every time. We have plenty of gold too, so I hope we hit a shop soon too. Okay. So far, so easy. Pull! Cool. Took some damage, but luckily we got plenty of armor. What's this? this use? Not sure what that does. So probably uh, cast an AoE around the enemies. Uh, we got a mini boss now, so we got the Flailings guy. Yeah, the Flailings. Let's go ahead and cast a Ballista and armor. Looks like he's frozen a little bit. We got some adds here, too. Grabs another ballista. So we got two ballistas out now. So he should be melting fairly quickly. Yeah. So luckily we can have more than one ballista up at a time. Okay, let's go to the next room. And we finally got a shop. Okay, we've got tons of items here. So this is move speed. Roll the dice, dealing damage to enemies and generating a bonus effect based on the die roll. Okay. Uh, whenever your HP falls below 10%, cast Meteor. Conjure magical belts that seek out and damage enemies nearby. So, let's go ahead and grab this relic right here. I don't know how many times we're going to go below 10% HP, but whatever. Let's we'll grab this right here while we, we have it. So, now we're super fast. Shouldn't be an issue, though. Let's go and cast... Uh, we can't get a ballista out. Now we can. So now let's get the ballista out. Kind of roll past them right there. The ballista is just taking some of the aim from the enemies, which is nice. Okay. What do we got here? Gem of Vigor and Gem of Power. Skill damage 5%. Let us grab... I want to... Uh, Actually, let's grab Gem of Vigor. I'm going to try an uh, HP build this time. Because there's that one boss that completely wrecked me. That was close. Okay. So, we'll grab the max HP. Looks like two blusters are coming out, too. So, I don't think I'm double casting. Let's grab all this gold. Should be beneficial in the long run. And we got some loot over here. Should be one more room before the boss room. Let's kind of save our Ballista. And our abilities for the boss next now. 
So we gotta take care of all these enemies on our own. Uh, is there any? Yeah, there he is. He's hiding from us. Okay, we got, I guess, one more room before the boss. Uh, I definitely want to cast a Ballista here. Oh, okay. We still got a couple more rooms, so I was wrong again. I should stop trying to predict these things. <laughs> okay. Grab tons of gold in this stage right here. Let's grab this loot. And we got Bone Plate. Gain 15 armor. Whenever you defeat an enemy, you gain one armor. So, armor is up to 25 now. Which is pretty beastly. And we got Gem of Vigor. So we got even more HP coming up. A little bit more damage would be nice. Kind of dodge everything. Ooh, took some hits. Let's go ahead and cast that. We should have an AoE. There we go. So we're up to 90 HP, which is pretty comfortable on mount. Grab some uh, these coins. Not much, but they definitely add up. We're already back up to 200 plus. Okay, now we're at the boss. If I remember, this boss is a little tricky. Ready full HP. Don't worry about that. Break the boss door. And here we go. A lot to dodge here. So this is the Thanos of the Ice World. Cast the Ballista. I wonder if the Ballista does just raw damage. Or... If it's based off... Um, my actual overall damage. That'd be pretty neat if it was. So phase two. Cool. Got nailed by that. Wasn't anticipating that. Roll past that. Ballista out. Take out the adds. Where's he coming from? Roll past that. Looks like the ballista took the blunt of the brunt of that. Oh, took two damage off that. We're about to lose our bonus damage if we get hit again. Should be phase two pretty soon. Get the ballista out. Oh. I keep rolling away from that instead of towards it. So now we're in phase three. Okay, we lost our bonus damage. That came out way more than I anticipated. Gotta roll past that. Roll past that. Now the blista out. Blista's doing pretty hefty damage as it is. Got him. Took more damage than uh, I wanted to, but we just ended up defeating the boss anyway, so it's all fine in the end. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Crit chance and move speed. Okay, so these are pretty bad. Well, except for the crit chance. Crit chance is always good. Did we get a bonus? No. Uh, defeat the world boss. Ah, oh, we were 10 seconds too slow. Unlock a special powder that unlocks a new outfit. Cool, so we can get outfits too. Okay, so the furthest we ever been is the boss of the next world, which is a really tough boss, so we shall see how we handle it. Uh, do we start this with full HP? Yes, we do. Okay, so the game's forgiving in that aspect. This world is a little difficult because there's a lot going on. And the rogues are pretty difficult to deal with, too, and tons of projectile enemies. Ow. Definitely need to start building up some armor. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage, getting a little impatient. So we got a relic selector here. Whenever you defeat an enemy, there's a chance to conjure a lightning bolt. 
your healing is increased. Whenever you use a skill, your next weapon attack is a guaranteed crit. Our crit's already at 15%. It's fine. We don't have anything that synergizes with that. So we'll do the uh, lightning bolt. And we got a chest right here, which just gives us gold. So let's go ahead and destroy that. We got, um, what's it? Agility and power, I believe. Yeah, power. We'll go power. Dodge that. Tons of HP on these guys. Let's go ahead and cast some ballistas. So we double ballista up. Kind of stun lock that enemy. So we get plus two damage, which is pretty nice. So we're kind of beefy as it is. I uh, definitely need to get max armor by the time I get to the next boss, though. Watch out for the rogues because they throw projectiles at us. Do some ice right here. Roll through the enemies. Kind of freeze them. I wish I had the tornadoes. Those tornadoes were awesome last uh, playthrough. Last time we made it this far. Got a random rogue over here. Ooh. Glad we stunned him. That was close. Okay, let's roll across. Open this chest. Okay, we got uh, skill selector and stat selector. Let's go ahead and do stat selector. Try to get more HP if we can. Oh, I didn't see that. I just wiped out all my armor. Some more HP would be nice. Ow. Ow. Okay, so we lost all our bonus damage. Use stat selector. Uh, skill damage, crit chance, or max HP. Let's do Gem of Vigor. So we're not 100 HP. I'm not too worried about my skill damage. They're just supplementary anyways. Keep getting hit by stuff. Let's just cast a ballista. I definitely need some heals though. These things hit hard. Uh, I think we got a mini boss coming up maybe. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this chest, get some gold. Uh, next shop. Okay, this is a, this is a shop. Okay. Uh, can't afford that. Let's see. Whenever you freeze an enemy, it takes damage every second. Blast away your enemies with devastation, explosion, or the die. Let's go ahead and grab whenever you freeze an enemy. It'll all synergize well with my item. And that's all we can afford. So we got an ember room now. So this will actually be kind of decent against any bosses. Going to cast the ballista. I like the skill recharge system in this game, where you damage enemies to uh, refresh your skills. Uh, still low HP, so I can't really mess up on this boss. So I gotta really focus here. Okay, mini boss Harold. Let's cast the ballista. Taking tons of damage. Ballista's really working out for us. Okay, that was close. Let's get another Ballista out. And another Frozen Orbs out. Okay, this is a tricky bullet hell section. Just roll past everything and we should be fine. Uh, we got some health, finally. Not enough to matter, but... Get another Ballista out. Ballista doesn't do too much damage, but it does some. So the boss is frozen right now. Watch out for those chains. Frozen. Oh, that came out. That second volley came out of nowhere. Got it. 
Okay, as long as we don't die on the trash, we should be able to make it to the boss. Okay, so no skills or anything like that. No stats. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Oh, we got werewolves now. They have tons of HP and they're pretty scary up close. Let's get a ballista out and freeze enemies. The freezing enemies is not too bad. Okay. Uh, did we get anything in this room? Doesn't look like it. We're still super low HP. We definitely need a healing titan when we can. Got two wizards out right now. Uh, let's get close to, so we can cast the ice ball. Get a ballista out. Kind of roll past that. That has a damaging AoE when you kill it, so we gotta be careful for that. Barely dodge that. Doing decent on armor right now. Uh, stat selector. Let's get a ballista out if we can. Now we can. Just roll and attack. Oh, we cast both the ballistas. Crap. Should have saved one. Let's go ahead and freeze the werewolf. Dodge out of those ways. There we go. Uh, let's see. Can we get Vigor? Yeah, we're going to do Vigor again. We should probably be upgrading damage, but I'm going to test out an all Vigor build really quickly. Let's get a Ballista out. Dodge the beam. Yeah, the wand is just way too slow. With the, uh, with the bow, I can actually dodge right after firing and not get hit by things. Freeze them. Dodge. I'm so glad you can dodge over ravines because um, that seems to damage me a lot in video games. This is kind of hitting a, a artificial border. Okay. Tons of gold, but there's not going to be a shop nearby. Uh, we got a mailbox here, so that'd be worth some gold right there. That up, and we got some more embers over there. Very nice. So, we just need to survive a couple more rooms before we get to the boss. This is a really big room. Looks like the werewolf can't hit us from there. So, we'll just kind of take him out. Oh, yes, he can. We got a nice stun off, though. A little far. Oh! He just grabbed onto us. We got two werewolves now. Okay, time to cast some things. Go ahead and freeze these werewolves when we can. Kind of surrounded here. One of the werewolves is full HP, essentially. Okay. Very nice. Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a healing fountain. Oh, crap. There was a chest there. Completely missed it. So that should get us near full. So we got our bonus damage back again. Let us go to the next room and see what's here. Okay, this is right pre-boss. Okay, six armor, 110 health. Wish me luck. This is a really tough boss. Especially the third phase. So we're going to cast our abilities as fast as we can. Let's see if I remember this boss's mechanics. I've only faced him once. Okay. The empty hunger. Ooh. Okay, we're doing decent damage to him. Not the greatest. Got hit already and it changed us in place for a second. Okay, we got the homing missiles here. Let's go ahead and cast the shadow or ice. Freeze them. The splits. Let's get a ballista out. Got homing. 
dodge right through that. Dodge right through that. This boss has tons of HP too. Oh, I keep getting hit by the corner of that. I keep mispredicting it. So we're about to lose our bonus damage. Get hit again. Get a Ballista out. So the boss is going to try to heal up. Get right above that. Okay. About to hit phase two. Okay. Get some free hits in. As quick as we can. Okay, let's kill these adds too. Dodge these lasers. Ooh! Got nailed by that. Didn't, never saw it coming. Okay, this is a tricky part. Pull! Okay, we took care of the rest of the ads. Get a ballista out. Okay, these split even more. So the boss is trying to heal up. Does this outpower the boss? Watch out for the laser. Got us. Try to freeze him. We're pretty low HP right now. Whoa. Okay. That was close. Roll this way. Get a Ballista out. Should knock him to phase three. Damage as much as I can. We don't have any bonus damage right now. Okay. And I'm pretty much done for it. I don't have enough HP. Ooh. Tons of adds, too. And this is super quick. Let's get a Ballista out when we can. These are going to split pretty nicely. Okay, I don't know how to dodge this beam. Oh, it's not a beam. He's just healing up. Okay, took care of all the adds. There's a phase I don't understand. So, if we can get past this phase, or kind of ignore it, we should be fine. Oh, crap. I got one hit left. Should be fine here. Cast it one more time. I got one hit off now. Dodge these balls. Dodge those balls. Get some free hits in. Just kind of out damage our problems. Watch out for the homing missiles. I really need to get another ballista out. Get some hits in. Heart rate spiking. I don't know how to dodge this. Oh, it's a ranged attack. Okay. Get in. Oh, no, it's not a range attack. Crip. Crap. It's a cone attack. I walked right into that. We were doing so well, too. Okay. I think I know how to beat the boss now. New unlocks. Okay, so we did extremely well. Okay. So we unlocked a new weapon. So let's go ahead and check that out really quickly. Uh, so we can do some upgrades. We got a ton of embers. So we need two more to unlock that. So let's go ahead and 12% bonus damage or revive token. Uh, let's do the revive token. 
adds each upgrade adds one revive. Share up one revive tokens that revive Ember Knights. I'm not sure what this does. Uh, are you? Sure? No. Um, let's go ahead and select this. Revive once with max 55% max HP. Okay, this is what I want. Uh, your rec selectors can be refreshed one time. So these get pretty powerful. So we definitely want the revive. Each upgrade adds 15 max HP. Okay, so this is extremely powerful. I think we can be almost any boss with that. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Greetings, knight. I found another relic orb. Now let's see. Let's see what we unlocked. What wonderful items. I haven't seen them in ages. They can now be found on your journey. You gain bonus skill damage for each armor you have. Whenever armor is removed, skills refresh by the amount of armor lost. Okay, that sounds pretty powerful. It's a good uh, mixture. Especially if I'm going for an armor build. Now, what is this Razor Wind? Uh, it's a melee item. Just, just beyond melee. Hits really freaking hard though. Um, I'm gonna still use the bow. And we have one more item to a left unlock. Okay. Anyways, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you to the... What is this? Ember Pit. Oh, we got a new skin. Okay, yeah. If you guys like this episode... Oh, it's been a long time since I've been back here, but I'll never miss the opportunity to take the steward to clean up the spot. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Third time. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.